It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute Freddie Gibbs and Jim Jones Cruz allegedly got into a fight in South Florida. Let's talk about it, y'all. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Please check out the album review playlist. I have Styles P and Havoc, Wreckage Manor, um, the collab project, and the 25th anniversary of Red Man's Muddy Waters, y'all. Check out those reviews. So, this happened Tuesday night. So, Jim Jones and his team were leaving the Ritzy Steakhouse Prime 112 restaurant on Miami's Ocean Drive and Freddie Gibbs, his entourage were actually entering the establishment. Interesting. So at first, Jim supposedly approached Freddie Gibbs um, about some um, about an issue that happened with a dipset artist years ago. And Freddie Gibbs started to exchange words with um, with Jim Jones. Someone from Jim's crew allegedly punched Freddie in the face. Gibbs then reportedly attacked by Jim Jones while um, Freddie Gibbs security was hit and kicked in the face. A rep for Jim Jones did not confirm the in incident, but shared a statement which said, we set the trends is streaming over 2 million on both YouTube and Spotify, referring to Jim's latest single featuring Migos. These reports remain unconfirmed and there is no uh, um, accompanying video footage at this time um, so we don't have no footage just to let you know. Jim Jones, and some, no, no, excuse me, somebody tweeted and said, just saw Jim Jones and his crew laying fools out in Miami on South Beach. It was Freddie Gibbs and his posse, by the way. Dudes got mad afterwards because we were laughing at how homeboys head repeatedly got slammed into the couch. Damn. So fools is getting beat up like that out there? And that was somebody named somebody on Twitter just t tweeted that what else do we have so somebody else on Instagram said that who appeared to be Jim Jones last night um, got whooped got his ass whooped at Prime 112 I'm a what they say I'm a mind my business so people are coming out people are coming back so this beef goes back to 2013 if you don't know about their beef um, that's when Gibbs had dropped his album, Evil Seeds Grow Naturally, ESGN, and he rhymed on the closeout track, Freddie Soprano. This V and this L and that I throw up don't stand for no vampire life. So sorry, Mr. Jones, twisting your fingers, get you gone. So if you didn't know about that, so um, so people thought that Freddie, well, Freddie thought that Jim uh, was false claiming Vice Lord Gang while representing the letters V and L. So, and they also the initials of Jim Jones' vampire life brand. The truth behind these rumors also have yet to be confirmed. And um, in Gibbs in 2014, he came out and said that Jim's want to be a blood on Instagram. If you didn't know about that, so they've been having some beef. Um, they've been having some beef. So. People have been reaching out to the, um, Jim Jones and Freddie Gibbs reps, but there's no type of information that has gotten back yet. Um, but Jim Jones did come out with a cryptic tweet saying, you got to be very careful in BK. They give it up. The motive behind Gibbs shooting remains unclear, and there is no confirmed connection to Jim's tweet. So that was actually in um, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, a couple of years ago just letting you know about that but um damn man sorry sad and sorry to hear that they got into a scrap but you know it is what it is man you know when you banging on wax that shit gonna go left man because everybody not gonna i don't care who you are you you might not be a hard dude what i'm saying is if you rapping you might not even be a street dude you might never got into a fight but you probably got somebody on your team that's probably from the streets 
that's probably fresh out of prison, that is that's willing to be a foot soldier, that's willing to go bow to bow with anybody. So you always got to be aware about that. Who's in your entourage or who is in the people, the person that you don't get along with entourage. So I can't wait to figure out or hear more from both sides, both camps, and we can really see what's going to happen. If it's going to be some diss tracks, if it's going to be a round two in 2022, but um, we'll see y'all. Post your comments below. Host smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new comp uh, content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything is in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction for sponsorships. That's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.